is Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. In today's headlines, a downtown precinct was attacked by rebels earlier today. The attackers freed several rebel detainees. There are reports of many casualties. Several witnesses confirmed that the raid was carried out by a small group of armed rebels, headed by an individual who authorities believe to be the new leader of the resistance. Isabella Angeline, seen in these pictures, is an important member of the underground resistance movement, and the operation looked like a carefully planned and executed rescue attempt. The group was led by a shadowy figure as yet unidentified, but believed to be a male Caucasian in his early 30s. Earlier today, I interviewed our leader, General Tatarin, on the situation. This sort of action against the Soviet Liberation Army will not be tolerated. And such attacks only increase tension here. However, I assure you that this was an isolated event and we have restored peace and stability. That was General Tatarin earlier today. On the phone now from Governor's Island is Comrade Colonel Boba, head of KGB. Comrade Kandinsky, these people are not rebels from proletariat. This freedom phantom is vigilante, a terrorist. But they are few and will be executed when caught. After a trial, of course. And on this reassuring note, let's look at the forecast. What's in store for us on weather front tomorrow, comrade Ilyana? Chris, for three months the Soviets have been pouring soldiers and equipment into the city. We have to plan every move very carefully. The people need to see that there is hope. If we stumble now, that'll be lost. Yeah, man. The Reds are everywhere and they brought plenty of toys. Yesterday our boys tried to blow a bridge on their supply route. <laughs> Only today, Red trucks are rolling back and forth like nothing happened. I tell you, if I demoed that bridge... There'd be nothing left to put back together. Instead, they got more soldiers than ever sitting on it. Yo, give me some TNT, and I'll blow that baby. Or die trying. Hang on, let's get real. Uh, that bridge is important, but we really need to capture the command center, too. The Soviets deploy their troops from the old fire station. We need to take control back. Hey, 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 don't expect to crash their party and say, hasta la vista to everyone in a red beret. They got snipers and choppers up there. This ain't no kitty park. Chris, before you go, Troy wants a word with you. Be careful up there. Remember, retreat to the sewers if things get too hot. I'll be waiting for you. Take control of the old hotel. The Soviets have established a base of operations inside. We have seen Soviet soldiers storing ammunition in an abandoned diner. You can stock up on explosives here. There's a POW camp in the area. Release the prisoners and lead them to the sewers. Seize the warehouse buildings. This is where the Soviets store their... Seems like the best way to down those choppers get is to over take out here. the landing. You bet. Let's knock some heads. You can get there through one of those old buildings over there. Follow me. 